Graphing is extremely important because uh, you know you do a ton of it after this. Okay, so <clears throat> you know, when we look at a graph, you know, usually start out with this big line like this, and another one like this. Okay. Additionally, they'll be labeled. You'll have an X there and a Y there. What that means is that this vertical one right here, that's your Y axis. We learned this in science. Good. Now you're learning it from the boss of science. Okay. This horizontal one, the horizontal one is the X axis. Okay. Now, what happens here is they gave each of these, right? So you could kind of look at these as boxes like this. Well, they said each of these is a quadrant. Quad means four in Greek. I don't know if that's what it means in Greek. <laughs> but uh, in any case, this would be quadrant one. The reason why this is quadrant one is because some math nerd sometimes somewhere said it's quadrant one. Could right? you start there? Uh, plus... Both the x values and the y values are positive. Well, yeah, and isn't that where yeah. your most agency are in that quadrant? Sure. Depends. Gabby. That's an i, not a one. That is a Roman one. Oh. Oh. Also, uh, this goes counterclockwise. So the next quadrant, quadrant two, the top left. The next quadrant is in the bottom left, quadrant three. Finally, so there's four, four quadrants. This is Roman numeral four, quadrant four. Okay. Now sometimes what, what you guys are gonna see is you're gonna see your axi like this, and they'll be labeled X and Y. But in the middle here, there's gonna be this. Okay, can someone tell me what that is? Most people are going to they're going to tell you that is a zero. It's not. It's not even a number. Tanner? Is it the Well, that's just no, not that's not. That is a letter. It's the letter O, which stands for origin. Okay? Okay. So it's a, that's an O, which represents the origin. The origin is this middle point right here. It is where the x-axis and the y-axis collide, meet, intercept, intersect, come together, whatever. All right? And the value of that point is represented by this coordinate pair. Zero, zero. Let us look up and here. So this is a graph again. We need some bigger axi. There we go. Started what? All right, so this is my axi. I should have them labeled so that you don't forget which is the x-axis and the y-axis, right? Let's say that I have this point. Hmm. Uh, five and two. Okay. Now, when you see coordinate pairs like this, they must be in print i with a comma between. Anyone that's confused right there? Okay. So, on the left, that is your x value. On the right is your y, y value. Y. Yeah, y. y. Okay. So, in other words, 5 here is my x value. So, on the x axis, I count to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sometimes I'll even number them. Like a these. And then, so, sometimes they'll have a graph, right? Like a line right here, like this. That is where x is 5. Now, my y value is 2, so I go 1, 2, and the y's. <clears throat> so this line here would represent where y equals 2. Well, the nifty thing about this is 
See where these lines in, intersect, intercept, meet, come together, you know, all that stuff. That is where the point to 5B, right here. All right. This lesson is to indicate whether a graph is proportional. Well, in order for that to happen, guys, you need two things. Well, let's, let's review real quick. So here we've got, it's called proportionality. It is, and I had to write it, dang it. Okay. Uh, so we already discussed tables. If you look at a table, what do you need for proportionality? Proportion, you same need, number. Yeah, you same. need all the values the same. to be equal. We'll call this equal equivalent value. because it sounds better. Equival, e, uh oh. There we go. E oh, man. Equivalent values, right? Uh, actually, let me rewrite that. Equivalent <laughs> fractions. Oh, that's even better. So, one, two things for a graph. First thing you should look for is. Linearity. Well, that's a funny word. Linearity just means that it's a straight line. Oh, what's the other word? It's not linear. Um. As it turns out, this is actually quite convenient because the word line is in linear, which is Latin for straight line. Line being line and R being straight. Straight line, okay? Wait, you guys word? understand that I don't know Latin. Okay. So what's the other word? Linear. Linear. So it needs to be a straight line, okay? It's straight line, then. then it can't be proportional. But what it's called? Not proportional. Uh, let's look at the next one. So the next thing you need is for the line to go through, okay, now there's a big, you need to understand this, okay, it needs to go through the, it can't go around, it can't go above, below, to the side, it has to go through the, O, what does O stand for? Origin. Origin. Bang at this graph and determine if it is, because they grabbed some more points and it's really funny. So look at this line, right? Well, where is the origin? Found it. It's right there. Does the line, that pink line, does it go through the origin? No. No, no it does not. Is it straight? Yeah. It is straight. Does it go through the origin? No. Is it straight? No. Does it go through the origin? No. Is it straight? Yes. Does it go through the origin? No. Is it proportional? No. No. Why? Wait, it doesn't go through the origin. What I'm going to do right now is I will draw some examples for you, and hopefully you will tell me if it is proportional or not. Most of these I mean to be straight, but, uh, you know, drawing straight lines can be hard. Okay? Okay, well, let's look. And uh, So I'm going to draw some lines, and you guys will tell me if it is proportional. Okay? Oh, okay. So let's look at uh, this line. Is it straight? Yes. Yeah, it's supposed to be straight. Does it go through the origin? No. No, it does not. Very good. What about this line? Yes. Yeah. Is it straight? Yes. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Does it go through the origin? Yes. Yes. Right. There it is, origin. Uh, what about uh, this line right here? No, no. Does it go through the origin? No. Yeah, it's supposed to. Uh, is it a straight line? Yes. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, try some. Here's my. Here's these ones. Okay.
Uh, what about, uh, yeah, yeah, what about, yeah, I'm sorry, trying is hard. Is that proportional? But it goes through the origin. Not straight, excellent work. No, well, it's an interesting question, but no. Straight? Through the origin? Uh, sometime, someday you guys will deal with more with, uh, you know, um, uh, absolute values. They look like this. Is that? BYU. Is that no. proportional? You did BYU. You did BYU, is it proportional? <laughs> no. no, it is not. BYU, what about points like this point or this one? <laughs> is that proportional? No. no it is not. What about this line? Is it proportional? No. This one? No. This one? No. I don't know. Okay. Uh, all this one is saying, and this is in the book, this is just saying, you can find out if a graph is proportional, if it's straight, and it goes through the origin. All right, the nice thing about this example is they've given you guys a table for this one, right? So, as it turns out, do you even need to graph this? No, you don't. You can look at the table, right? Uh, but we are going to graph it just because uh, if we don't, then you guys get confused. Most of the time, you guys are confused anyways, but uh, that's okay. Well, let's look at the table, and then we'll determine if it's proportional. Then we will graph, okay? So what's 1 divided by 8? 8. eight. One, eighth. 1 eighth. What the heck? One eighth. Uh, what's 4 divided by 32? 1 eighth. One eighth. One eighth. 7 divided by 56? 1 eighth. Eight. Are those all equal? Yes. yes, they be. So is this proportional? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Didn't graph. even need to graph, but Wait. we're going to graph. That doesn't make sense. You must be careful because our first point is 1 eighth, right? Well, there's no 1 on the x-axis, okay? So if we look at the table, as it turns out, all of these are coordinate pairs. For uh, 1, 8, 432, and 756, okay? Let's look at the table, uh, the graph. So, uh, on this one, 1 is between 0 and 2. Is there anyone that has any questions on that? It's right smack dab in the middle, okay? So... If you don't know that, what? Well, then it's wrong. Okay? So just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Well, this line represents 8. So I just dot this line up to where 8 is, right here. Yeah. Okay, that's my first point, right uh, here. Let's do the next point, which was 4 and 32. So, again, this line represents 4. And 32 is this line, so I can see they come together right here. Yeah. Okay. Next point is uh, 7, which is between 6 and 8. It's going to go up all the way to 56. Oh, it's kind of crooked, uh, but it's all good. Okay, there's a 56. I got it. Does it go through the origin? Yeah, yeah there's the origin. Is it a straight line? Yes. Is it proportional? Yes. Bam, it is proportional. I didn't spell it. Well, how do you spell it, jerks? Told you I spelled it right. Oh, right there, I spelt it Chanel. <laughs> it sounds like a perfume. Okay. I like bacon. No, you guys know it smells good. All right, this graph, is it proportional? Is it straight? Does it go through the origin? Oh, yeah. This one. No. Is this proportional? No. No. What do you mean no? Where's the origin? Right there. Found it. 
It's right there. It's not even close. Oh, it is close. Oh, what about this? Let's look at the table. Let's look at the table. Is this proportional? No. Why is it not proportional? Yeah, it is. It is proportional. Is it? What's one divided by four? Ignore the zeros, okay? The zeros is the origin, so that's good. We, we know it goes to the origin. What's one divided by four? One fourth. Two divided by eight? One fourth. Three divided by thirteen? I don't know. It's not one fourth. Okay. So it's not proportional. Is this, this violet line, is it proportional? That color doesn't exist. Is it proportional? No. no. Why is it not proportional? It's not straight. What about the red one? The beautiful yes. red one. It is. It meets all, all of the qualifications. Red is pink. I know. 